everyone, it's Andrea here and I just want to talk to you uh, about a book I've just finished reading and it's um, Sherlock the Facts, Fiction, Facts and Fiction Behind the World's Greatest Detective by Martin Fido. This was one of the books that Carol Farley from uh, Carlton Publishing sent me um, to review and have a look through. I love Sherlock Holmes, I've read most of the, the books, I used to watch it on TV, I love the films, all the different films. I mean I'm, I remember watching uh, Jeremy Brett in the 80s, obviously Benedict Cumberbatch now, which is fantastic. I love it. I've never really watched Elementary, but I intend to, to do watch that at some point because it, it, it looks very interesting. And also, um, I used to love watching the 1930s films with Basil Rathbone, um, Without a Clue, which is a pastiche on, on Sherlock Holmes with uh, Dr. Watson being the, the detective genius and uh, Sherlock Holmes being a, a drunk actor. Played, played brilliantly by Michael Caine. Um, so I, I do love my Sherlock Holmes. So this book is, it's not a massive book, it's, it comes in at 224 pages with acknowledgements and credits. And it is absolutely fascinating. It starts off with a biography. Obviously about, the, you've got an introduction and a chronology, um, facts and figures, and then there's chronology of Sherlock Holmes and Watson's life and a chronology of Arthur Conan Doyle's life and then there's a, a biography of Sherlock Holmes uh, followed by uh, Watson and everything like that and then there's a short biography of um, Arthur Conan Doyle let's get past that you know there's great there's a picture of the living room at 221B Baker Street, which I love. Um, so yeah, it, it tells him all about um, his nemesis Moriarty, uh, Watson's wife uh, Mary Morstan, um, how he came back from the dead after the Reichenbach Falls, uh, hats, coats and tobaccos, hobbies and tastes, all sorts of things like that. So chapter two is about Arthur Conan Doyle. And we have a, a, a nice little biography about him and his life and his two wives and his children, people he met. The people he based Sherlock Holmes on, obviously, Joseph Bell, we all know that. But he also, Martin Fider also goes into the people that he possibly based his other characters on. So Watson and Moriarty and Mary Morstan, which is absolutely fascinating. And there are lots of... Um, illustrations and there are lots of photographs of various things um, it then goes on to the there's obviously the, the what they call the Holmes records which are actually the stories that's a great cover for Hand of the Baskervilles so there were 56 short stories and four short novels all were illustrated um, so it tells you about um, the order they were written in and that the chronology doesn't necessarily work and things change um, from one to the other because Conan Doyle was writing these on demand at one point for the Strand magazine. So yeah, it's very fascinating. It tells you how we progressed. Uh, picture of, and, you know, figured things out, how he came back from the dead, why he was brought back from the dead and, and so on. There is a bit about the illustrators and the illustrations. And then chapter four is about detectives and criminals. And this is about real detectives and criminals. So we've got uh, people like Jack the Ripper, obviously, Scotland Yard. And then there's a section on Holmes and true crime. And how, where he got his, where they think he might have got some of his ideas from. Um, who the great criminals were of the day, who the great policemen were of the day, including, um, and who the great detectives were. And one of the detectives mentioned is Alan Pinkerton, who formed the Pinkerton's Detective Agency in the United States. Um, he was the, Alan Pinkerton was the world's first, most likely private detective. Now, this was interesting for me because it, it says here in, in 1839, Alan joined the workers' army assembled by Agitator Julian Harvey. No, sorry, I've read it wrong. In 1839, Alan joined the Workers' Army assembled by Newport. 
that's right, South Wales, Newport, Monmouth at the time, Mayor John Frost, to release a Chartist prisoner. Unhappily, the plan was betrayed and the workers faced a detachment of soldiers who put them to flight. So this was um, in in uh, answer to the Chartists marching and, and everything. And obviously that is very local history for me. I live down the road only about seven miles from Newport. Um, the main square in Newport up until recently is still called John Frost Square, but it was a much bigger square. Now we've got something called Friars Walk. Uh, but John Frost Square is a very, very well-known person in the area. So I thought that was quite interesting. And then after that, we've got, again, more criminals. Um, then you've got about fictional, other fictional detectives. So for instance, the detectives of Agatha Christie and... Uh, the Reverend Monsieur Ronald Knox, who was a priest but also wrote detective stories. A. A. Milne wrote a detective story. Obviously Dorothy Thayer, Agatha Christie as I mentioned, Dashiell Hammett, Raymond Chandler, um, Colin Dexter and Inspector Morse. They're all mentioned and how they owe their existence to Arthur Conan Doyle, even down to James Bond. And then we've got The Immortal Reputation, which is... Again, it's more about um, stage productions of the production uh, of the books and various stories, um, and then so there's stage ones, and then there's film section, which obviously says that the first uh, Sherlock Holmes films was quite likely by in, in made in Denmark. Although there is there is claim there was a British one first, but it is if it is lost, then we've got the ones from the uh, Hammer films, uh, Hand of the Baskervilles and so on uh, up until the modern day uh, films with um, Robert Downey Jr., Jr. and Jude Law and directed by Guy Ritchie. We go back to Basil Rathbone as well because I, I, I remember the Basil Rathbones watching them in the 80s. And then it goes on to radio and television and tells us about this is Jeremy Brett and Edmund Hardwick I believe. Edward Hardwick as Holmes and Watson in the 80s, 1980s series. That's uh, the one I started watching and really started loving. And then of course we've got Benedict Cumberbatch and Martin Freeman, whose wife I actually used to know when I was in college, Amanda Abingdon. Yes, plays Mary Morstan as well, but I used to know her. Little known fact here there. Then we've got a, a, a fly of the elementary, which I've never watched, but I'm quite interested in. And then parodies, travesties and theft. So these are things like without a clue and stuff like that. And just about how it all went on from there. And then it tells us about worldwide Sherlockian clubs. So people who love Sherlock Holmes and are members of clubs. There's stories about Baker Street today and the Sherlock Holmes Museum, which is at 221 Baker Street, which actually wasn't originally 221 Baker Street. That actually was the old Abbey National. But there you go. But now it's 221 B Baker Street. I really love this book. I gave it a three and a half stars because it is quite, sometimes it's quite hard to get through. Um, but it's very fascinating. It's something I will dip into again and again. If you are into Sherlock Holmes and you love the stories and you collect the, the books and the films and the TV series and you love it like that, you must add this to your collection. Martin, Martin Fido is a brilliant writer. He's a well-known ripperologist. Absolutely fantastic. I would totally recommend this. Now, as I said, this is available from Carlton Books. I will leave some links below so that you can find out how you can purchase this book. I know it is available from the website, but I will look to see if it's available from Book Depository or Amazon. And if it is, I will leave a link to those below as well. So I gave this three and a half out of five, but I will definitely be, it'll be something I dip into again and again, because I do really enjoy the Sherlock Holmes stories. So that's all for today's uh, review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. Comment if you've read this or if you like Sherlock Holmes and want to discuss some of the other books. Um, we can maybe do a buddy read on some Sherlock Holmes. I love Sherlock Holmes. Um, and don't forget to share and subscribe. I will see you very soon. Bye now.